Hi, this week I watched The Ewok Adventure, or Caravan of Courage, a 1985 TV movie released theatrically in the UK and in other territories. It's a spin-off from Star Wars and uh, continues short time after the events of Return of the Jedi. Young Wicket the Ewok is living with his family on the forest moon of Endor when they discover a crashed spacecraft, and that two young children, a teenage boy and a young girl, have been abandoned by their parents. So they nurse them back to health, and the children persuade them to go on a quest to rescue their parents from being imprisoned in a forbidden land some distance away by a terrifying creature. It's very much of the mid to late 80s version of Lucasfilm, where they're producing titles like uh, Return to Oz or Willow. I think there was some involvement with Labyrinth as well that are much more fantasy orientated, much more um, creature fantasy world stories rather than science fiction. And it's also very clearly a children's story. Um, the adults are very few and far between. There are only really two adult characters in the story, the part of the Ewok family. I found it interesting that the um, Ewoks learn a few words of English, or galactic standard, over the course of the story, whereas the human children make no effort at all to learn the Ewok language. And it uh, turns into a, a quest storyline with various Ewok characters joining along the way, before a confrontation at the end with the terrifying monster keeping the parents captive. Um, of the cast, only Warwick Davis as, as Wicket um, really stuck out. For Fanula Flanagan appears briefly later on as the mother. But this is a very simple story. It's a 90-minute family film intended for television. And it feels very small-scale and very mild. Um, there's very little here of any strong interest, and it's really notable only as the first proper permanent uh, Star Wars TV production. There had previously been the Star Wars Holiday Special, a pre-recorded, semi-dramatised variety show, which has been uh, notorious for George Lucas disowning it and featuring uh, the, both the first appearance of Boba Fett and later on a sequence where a clearly very worse for where Carrie Fisher is singing lyrics to the Star Wars theme. It's not available commercially. You can find it on uh, YouTube or elsewhere. But um, Caravan of Courage is available on Disney Plus along with its sequel, uh, Ewoks The Battle for Endor, which was broadcast the following year. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend Caravan of Courage. It's certainly of interest to completists. Um, it doesn't feel necessarily out of step with Star Wars in general. It's uh, an alternative view on things being a more family-friendly there's nothing that contradicts anything in particular, but it's really not that interesting. It's not that engaging. It's not that exciting. There's never anything that's not entirely competent. It's just there's never that much of a reason why you should want to watch it. 